With the introduction of Leopard, Apple introduced another feature into the .Mac Internet Suite, that is, Back to My Mac. Back to My Mac allows you to control one of your Macs from another of your Macs using .Mac. Unfortunately, you have to pay $100 for .Mac and you have to configure the router. Fortunately, there's a free way of doing this using iChat. Here's how. To do this, we'll need two things. We'll need two iChat accounts. These could be two Google accounts, two AOL and Messenger accounts. You'll need two different accounts. And you'll need an app script which Apple provides. I can't help you with the first one, but I can't help you with the second one. To get the Apple script, go to your hard drive, library, scroll down to scripts, and select iChat. Now, click on the auto accept.apple script and duplicate it, command D, so that you have a copy of it. Hit return or click on it once and rename it to back to my map. It can be renamed in the thing with this nice, easy to understand name. Hit return to accept the name change and hit command O to open up your Apple script. In script editor, find the line about receiving audio invitations, which is right here, and we want to delete the line that says if the if screen sharing of BeChat is none, we will delete that line and we would want to delete the end if. Now we'll save our Apple scripts and quit script editor. Now we just need to set it up with the account. Assuming that we have the two accounts and the Apple script set up, we can now set it up. Go to iChat, do a spotlight search for it, and open it up. Now in your contacts, we'll make ourselves available. There we go, now we're logged in. Select the contacts on your other computer. So right now we are on the computer that we want to control. And we're going to select the contact on the computer that's going to be doing the control ink. We're going to right click on the contact or you can select it and hit command shift I. We're going to right click and select show info. From here go to alerts and we want to do audio invitation. Now run Apple script and from the list that appears we want to do back to my Mac which is the Apple script we edited earlier. There we go. Now we just close this window and everything is set up so that we can now use iChat as if it was back to my Mac. To do this, you would right click on the account and you would select ask to share the screen. And it will ask, it will automatically accept it and everything's good to go. Setting up an Apple script for a specific buddy can be handy for several things. One of which is declining invitations from specific buddies. Say you have that one guy who's always contacting you at the wrong times or you just don't want to talk to the person. You simply open up their info as I showed earlier, go to alerts, and then we'll say message received, run Apple script, auto decline, and we can go through and do that with text invitations, audio invitations, etc. Another thing you should check out is Chax. Chax is a plugin for iChat. You download it, install it, it's free. Use the link in the sidebar. And what it does is it will add some features to iChat, one of which is a graphical setup that makes it much easier to set up automatic screen sharing requests, etc. Just check the box here, say yes, say options, say only. Check this triangle right here and select the name of Buddy that you want to automatically set screen sharing requests from. Hit the save button and you're all set. Chax is a great add-on I highly suggest you check it out. Once again, the link is in the sidebar or if you're watching this from the blog, it's in, at the bottom of the blog post. I hope that you enjoyed today's tip and you find it useful. This has been a video for the Mac Blog. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.